Okay, so we've uh, finally got a break in the weather, so we're going to uh, leg it up to the Priestway. It's up to uh, Square and Compass for a pie and a pasty. Got a boy on me back. Got Paula and Brogan and uh, Bert and Bella joining us this time, so come along with us and uh, let's see what we find. Okay, today should be a, a fairly quick walk. I think it's about an hour and a half out to uh, to Worth and Travers along the Priestway uh, to uh, Square and Compass, real old pub where we're going to have a, a pie and a pasty and, uh, sorry, a pint and a pasty um, and then we'll head back. It's a beautiful little route, uh, well maintained, right the way across the, uh, uh, the, the, the Dorset coast. Set back a bit from the, the coastal path, but it'll, uh, it takes us right along to Worth. Uh, very nice. We won't go any further today. There is a nice loop that we've added on past there in the past, but uh, today's just a, just a quick one, just a leg stretch to get us Yes, uh, warmed up for the rest of the week. Okay, we've come out of the campsite, turned left up this little bride away. Only real climb of the other uh, journey. And now we're up to this finger post and take a less left to Priestway. For those of you that see my July catch up, uh, my bre breathing's improving slowly. My lung capacity's still not there yet. But uh, it's getting there slowly. Obviously, with the boy on my back, yeah, I've got a bit of a extra exertion today, so I'm going to be breathing hard pretty much all of this, I should imagine. But uh, we'll see how it goes. You'll see the route's well uh, signposted with these little priestway uh, marker posts. Okay, you can see from that panorama why I love this walk so much. It's, a, it's only, a, like I say, a quick walk, no real uh, challenge. There's a bit of a climb to get up to this stage, but only a bit of one. I'm just uh, <laughs> struggling for breath and with the boy on my back. The boy, of course, is getting uh, ever heavier. So as I get fitter, he gets heavier and I get more of a work worker. But you can see from the pan panorama why I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The ridge, off to my right, over there, is the Purbeck Ridge. If you remember, I showed you that from the other side, uh, over by Arn, in one of my last blogs, uh, looking out this way, uh, out towards Corf Castle. In fact, over in that direction, is Corf. I can't quite see the castle, but that's the direction it's in. Right, the way over there. All along this section, it's absolutely loaded with blackberries. Full of them. No idea what that butterfly is. Gorgeous little critter. Yeah, absolutely full of blackberries, but they just don't seem to be ripening off. Same at home, same on a lot of the walks. I think uh, we've had plenty of water. We just need more sun to ripen it all up. And it'll be a bumper harvest when they do. Okay, we've got the, the obligatory blackberries, but we've also got these. I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm sure my father will be able to uh, put a comment under underneath the video when uh, once he sees this. I don't know whether they're breeze. They look like blueberries. I won't try one just to be on the safe side. But that's what they look like. Don't know if they're slows, perhaps. I'm sure someone will be able to tell me. But in the middle of the path, looking very regal. Part of the beauty of this uh, route is because it goes parallel with the coast, you've got all these uh, paths crisscrossing, uh, going down to things like Dancing Ledge and uh, St. Aldham's Head. So you can use it as a route to get down to the coast or a nice little circular route coming back along the coast. Hey again, hopefully you can hear this. It's a bit windy now, it's a beautiful sea breeze, just uh, uh, taking the heat out of the day, which is perfect. But I just wanted to show you this view. You've got the sea in the distance. And right along the coast there, right up to St. Albert's Head. Sorry for the shake. Right on the top there, I think what you can see is the lookout on the top. A gorgeous area. 
I'm sure I've seen this a few times before, but it's the first time I've actually clocked what it's what it's for. You've got the directions, the distances, the amenities, and such like on the finger post. And on the actual sign, you've got the uh, Sierra Yankee 982779, which will be the grid reference for the uh, the Ordnance Survey map. I will check that when we get back. It looks absolutely spot on. Anyway, we're this way, following the Priest Way marker, and that little village in the distance is worth my travers which is where the square encompasses, which is where the beer and the pasties are. So that's where we're going. Yes. You happy, Brogan? Very is that because of the proximity of the pasties? Pasties, definitely. Beautiful. Missus? Yeah, definitely the pasties. Superb. <laughs> Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but that line of uh, wake there, it's the skewer from Divers Down. I would imagine it's on its way over to the Kiara for, for a load of divers off. So an age since we've done that. Hopefully when my health improves, I'll be able to get out diving again. Finally made it to the Square and Compass. Absolutely gorgeous place with a gorgeous view and uh, fantastic beer and pasties. What more can you want? More to the point, Paula's gone to the bar. There's my wallet admittedly, but she's gone to the bar. Like I say, we've just got to the Square and Compass and uh, as we have, the boy's woken up. He's not very awake at the moment, bless him. He's, he is starting to stir. I think we might have a cry in a second, so I'll uh, turn off the camera and, uh, and see to him. Now that makes all the walking worthwhile, look at that, nice golden pint and a freshly made pasty to throw down and I actually got my wallet back off my missus. <laughs> oh, well that was a fantastic, the pasty was probably the best I've had there and I've had a few, the pint was good. What pint was it missus? Um... Well it was a nice pint of um and a, good, and a good pasty, it is uh, fantastic, always good to rehydrate. Must rehydrate, don't forget that. Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally. <laughs> Perfect for rehydration, nothing better. Unfortunately though, we've got to, we're back on the trail now, just leaving the pub. I would have much rather stayed and had a few more, but uh, I've been told I've got to walk home. I'm in time for the barbecue and a few more beers this evening. Stunning, absolutely stunning view. Sun came out well, so we were drinking in the pub. So it's going to be a bit warm on the way back, but what a view. I love it. Love the... Uh, the Great British Coast, but certainly the Purbeck Coast uh, for that reason. Absolutely gorgeous. Keep smiling, ladies. We are. It's amazing how different the trail can be a couple of hours apart. Walked through here earlier on and there was a onshore breeze blowing through, uh, which chilled it right down. And it was a bit overcast, so the sun, the sun wasn't out as it is at the moment. And now you've got all these beautiful greens and uh, a very little breeze so it's much much warmer a lovely day but the sea view in the background walking this way as well lovely i just started on the way back as you know um just hit the 10,000 steps for the day so that's the uh, fitbit step goal completed uh, every step now is just a bonus extra calories burned okay we're coming back towards the end of the, the walk now just taking a slightly different route into the site We've got Purbeck Ridge and Ballard down there going on to, towards Old Harry's Rocks, oh, which is featured in another blog right at the end there. With uh, Swanage down in the, uh, the bay there out to, out to sea. Gorgeous area. And we're heading along there. Okay, guys, we're just returning to the van now. Just had a bit of a scramble through uh, uh, some hedgerow just to get uh, back onto the site. A little cut through we know, it's a bit more overgrown than we remembered. But we're back to the, uh, to the accommodation, back to the, uh, the van, which is a real bonus. Uh, thanks for coming along with us. It's been a lovely walk. We've gone well over th my uh, 10,000 steps, in fact, bear with me. 15,000 steps for the day, which is a real bonus. Uh, there'll be plenty of blogs coming out this week. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm looking at doing some food blogs. Um, maybe I'll look at some trail news. Uh, just stuff to mix the channel up a bit, uh, keep you all interested. But we're, like I say, we're back. Right up on the top, in the the caravans. You can see Swanage Bay down there in the distance. It's a fantastic view. It's equally as good when it's stormy as it is when the sun's out. And that's the effect it's had on the boy. If any of you are, are, uh, are new parents, get yourself a, an Osprey Poco. Bless him, he's just coming round now, but he's been asleep for the last hour or so. Okay guys, one last thing. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, please 
like, subscribe, uh, comment on YouTube. The Trail Trails on Facebook. Come along, join the, the page. You'll be able to see what's happening. Uh, I'll keep you up to, to date with what the uh, plans are. At Trail Trails on Twitter and at Trail Trails on um, Instagram as well. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.